Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to another exciting episode of iDevice Guide. This is Puneet Khatri, and hope you guys are doing good. So, guys, this video is all about the latest and the most hidden features that are there on iOS 10. So, basically, guys, I would like to tell you that if you did not update to iOS 10 and if you wish to update to iOS 10, there would be a video down right there in the description, or you can see a notion over here or a card over there which would uh, take you to my video where, where I showed how to go ahead and install iOS 10 onto your device without losing data and without using a computer. Also to mention if you are on iOS 10 and if you want to downgrade to iOS 9 and you are not able to do that there would be a video down in the description and ocean here and a card here and that, that will take you to my video that will show you without losing data how to downgrade from iOS 10 to iOS 9. So sticking back to the topic of this video is the latest and the hidden features of iOS 10. So without wasting any bit of time, let's get right into this video. So let's get started. Okay, so guys, the very first free hidden feature that uh, is uh, present on iOS 10 is that rise in capacity. You might be thinking, what sort of capacity am I talking about? But I'm talking about the storage which you get. So basically, this is a 16 gigabyte device, and I'm able to grab your 13.12 GB of uh, storage. That's really amazing. Out of 16 gigs device earlier we used to get around 11 and 12 gigs of storage so this is rising the capacity with iOS 10 which means that iOS 10 consumes a lot more storage as compared to iOS 9 so that's a really good point okay so guys the second feature or the second hidden feature on iOS 10 is that when we move back to the old application is it does not overlap your Wi-Fi connection and your cellular connection you not be easily getting me through this but let me show you right now if I switch over to calculator from the settings application it just shows me your settings a backside arrow and it shows me my cellular data and my Wi-Fi connection but these two options earlier in iOS 9 are hidden so guys the third feature on iOS 10 or the third hidden feature is that we now have 3D touch in control center. Basically I am having an iPhone 5 so iPhone 5 does not support 3D touch so I won't be able to show you but when you go into control center and you press and hold or uh, like uh, for using force touch or 3D touch onto any of these icons you will be able to get really good options. So all the options that you get for camera app you get them from year 2. Uh, for the calculator application you get to copy your last calculation. For alarm you get to set a timer for some particular du durations and for the torch you get some intensity that what intensity torch you want to launch or you want to start that. So guys up next the fourth feature is that you have 3D touch in settings. So if you go ahead and 3D touch on settings you would get a pop up option saying that you can directly move into cellular data. So basically you do not have any option for activating cellular data from the control center but now you can easily grab on from settings or like from a home screen to settings option and just turn on your or turn off your data. So that's really good. Okay, so my guys, moving up to the fifth point for this video is that the control center which shows here the music is uh, like continuous. If you stop a music application in the morning and you again start playing the application or start uh, playing music in the evening, it starts the music from the, where you have left. It doesn't matter that you have closed the application or you have not closed the application, but it would start from the place where you guys stopped. Moving up to the sixth feature for this uh, video uh, or for sixth hidden feature on iOS 10 is that you now have 3D touch capability on folders. So if you go ahead and 3D touch on folders, you would be able to get some great options from folders like open the application, open first or second application and also go you get an option to rename the application. That's pretty good. Okay so guys moving up to the next feature that is in messages application. If you go ahead and draft a new message over here and you tap over here on the app store icon where the third icon over here you get a lots and lots of GIF and images to search from. So you can search a lot of images over here by typing here and you can also get these GIFs or like these images uh, you can just send them across over here and you can send them that that's pretty good. That's a really good new method of interacting. Also, if you guys don't know that you also get an option that you can draw something and set it, it across. So like whatever color pen you want to choose, you can draw or you can uh, tap and hold to send your heartbeat. You can sketch or you can just tap for these circles. 
Okay, so guys, moving up to the next feature in iOS 10 is that you now have the right to enable or disable individual read recepts. Once you are there in a message, you can tap on I icon over here, which stands for information, and you get this option read recepts. So you want to send read recept. Just enable it if you don't want to send read receipt for this particular message to this person you can just go ahead and disable these read receipts so that's really good option that apple has come up with so guys along with the new ios 10 with the new software update we get some new typing experience so i just want to show you the sound for this new typing so let me just show you the sound for the new keyboard this is for uh, the new ios 10 This one is for iOS 9. Basically, the sound experience or the typing experience you get on iOS 10 is pretty good as compared to iOS 9 and I really, really prefer that. So guys, up next, the next feature or the next hidden feature is the clock icon or the clock application in iOS 10. Basically, you get a darker mode which gives an indication that uh, in the upcoming betas, we can get a probability of darker mode and this can be in the final version of iOS 10. This looks pretty good because white or black is much preferable by me. Basically, this depends on the personal choice and also uh, the next feature is also in the uh, clock application that is the bed time. Basically, this helps you to achieve the number of hours you need to sleep every day and what time you go to sleep, what time the phone needs to ring an alarm to wake you. So you get an option over here like number of days you want the alarm to go ahead and ring like bedtime reminder like at what time you're going to sleep if you select that time it would give you a reminder at that particular time. If you want a reminder 15 minutes earlier, 30 minutes earlier, 45 or 1 hour before the bedtime, you can set the reminder according to your requirement. Also you get a wake up sound, so what wake up sound you need, you can select according to your requirement, that's up to you. And what volume of sound you need, like maximum volume, you need some low volume, mid volume, it's up to you, perfectly fine. Also guys, uh, here you, as I just wanted to show you that what time you go to bed, you can select the time, what time when you wake up and gives you an estimation that how many hours you sleep. Up next is the camera application. So guys, while clicking photos from the camera application, many a times we need to switch over like while taking a photo, you want to capture a selfie. So you need to go and tap from your second hand over here. But now with update of iOS 10, you get a something into your reach. You can easily just go ahead and flip the camera over here and you can take photos because this app is much more preferable or much more used as compared to the filters over here. And again, this is a personal choice, so I don't want to comment something about that. So, but uh, according to me, this is really good that we have something here which is under our reach, and that's also in the reach, but that's not much used as compared to the flip flipping the camera option. Also, guys, the next or the last feature of this video today is also in the camera application. Now, with playing songs, you can just go ahead and click photos without stopping the songs playing in background. Let me just show you. So you can see the song is playing right now. Let me go into the camera application and click a photograph. So that's pretty good. So guys, as I showed you right now that uh, it does not now stops the music while you're clicking photos. So that's pretty good option. I'm really happy with Apple. Okay, so guys, now we come to the end of this video. This was a quick video about uh, some great features and some hidden features of iOS 10. So again, I would like to request you to please to give a thumbs up to this video if you enjoy this video. Also, because if you give the maximum thumbs up to this video, I would be able to know that you like such content and I would be making and producing such contents more in the future. And also, if you want to ask me something about iOS 10 or anything else uh, related to Apple, uh, please do make sure to comment down below in the comment section and I will try my best to reply to you guys. Also, please share this video as much as possible among your friends because this would help in spreading information and uh, knowledge to your friends. And at last, I would like to request you to please subscribe to my channel because it helps me a lot to produce such content. And that's about it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. That's about it. Thank you for watching. And I will talk to you guys later in my next video. Peace.